Good morning. Okay, it's Monday morning and I'm going to try to get this video up today. Um, the colors I'm using, first this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas and the color that I'm using is Flash Pink and it's mixed equal parts with Floetrol. I have a Payne's Gray with a metallic navy added to it. Mix two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I have Arteza's Prussian Green. It's quite thick. Um, and this is leftover paint, so I'm not quite sure. I think the original was two to one uh, ratio for mixing, but it's been about a week. Uh, this is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. It's a beautiful color. Let me get it in screen for you. And this was just a scoop. It's the heavy body paint. And it was a scoop with this in about that much Floetrol. And that mixed beautifully. I have our, uh, not Arteza, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Gold. Leaves a mound on a mound. And then I have Glacier Blue. It's a metallic color by Modern Masters. And, uh, sorry, there you go. And that's equal parts Floetrol to paint. And then I have my white, which is Artist Law Flow right, White. Two parts paint, uh, sorry, two parts Floetrol to one part paint with a couple scoops of satin enamel in there. So this is the consistency. Mount, mound on mound and then, you know, few seconds and disappears. So we're going to do a galaxy style pour. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these. So let's hope I haven't figured it, forgotten how to do them. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of gold in here just to start. And I'm going to do a little bit of white also. about it for that. Um, I'm gonna do, let's see, some of the sky, uh, glacier blue. I'm gonna come in with the pain, uh, the pain's gray. Uh, let's see, let's do some of the violet dark. And now I'm going to come in again with the gold. I don't want to use too much, but and some of the white. And I think I'm just going to pour this in this time. Just a smidge of it. There we go. And I'm going to come back in with my violet dark. And then use the pink flash. And the green. Now you gotta be careful when using greens, they can take over your paintings. So I try to use it sparingly if I don't want something with a lot of green in it. And that is my cup. Move these paints out of the way. All right, 
over the side so you guys can see it pouring out of the cup. A little shaky at the end there. <laughs> it's been a while. All right, so I'm going to leave what's in here for the corners just in case I need them. I'm going to stretch this out. And I'm going to turn the canvas because normally I pour it here and I pour it on the other side. So I want it lined up how I like to look at it orientation wise while spreading it out, stretching it. the white out of it. bubbles out. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit more on the edges here because it started to roll over itself. And I don't want that to happen because there's some pretty cool cells over here. I'm going to come this way. And I'm going to reline it up and get my paint back in the center of the canvas. And now I'm going to go to 
to this corner. Next, I'm going to come down to this corner. Usually I just put a whole bunch of white around the edges and I didn't do that this time. I just wanted to see how it would do. So it is clear I had to add I'm gonna let it sit here for a minute. <clears throat> and there's more air bubbles, so I've got to pop those. This one definitely has a mind of its own. <laughs> Trying to get it back into check. Now I know I'm going to be losing this white paint, so I am okay with that. Bring it down to this corner. Okay, so I'm going to take my gloves off. It's so pretty. I've got some stripey cells going on there. I'm 
So I'm gonna clean up the corners and then we're gonna bring you guys in. Okay, here it is. I really love um, the glacier blue with the Prussian green here. It looks so cool. I haven't done one of these in months and I'm super pleased with the outcome. So uh, maybe we'll continue with my galaxy style pours a little more. Look at this, stripey cells. They look pretty cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, coming up on March 6th, the Do's and Don'ts collaboration with uh, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, Rinse Gadana, and Mossy Art Studios. See who we call out next. Um, and let's see how I did with uh, the Bloom Swipe using just the Bloom recipe. Um, other than that, that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. I have a Facebook art page and Instagram. And uh, what else? I don't know. Working on my website to get things up there. And as soon as it's uh, available to check out, I'll let you know. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.